Let me start by first uh, thanking you, the National Endowment for Democracy, and congratulate, you know, it's the 40th birthday, right? It's a big deal. Uh, as you just heard, the, the role of NED has, is as important today as, if, as it was 40 years ago when it was founded. And you know, leadership matters, as you all know. So let me start also by recognizing the president and the CEO, Damon Wilson, for his leadership and for the job that he has been doing. Because it does matter, Damon, it does matter. And as you know, that works every day to bring freedom and democracy and human rights, which as you know is really human dignity, to the most repressed corners of the globe, supporting courageous individuals who are risking everything day in, day out, for freedom. Is there a more noble mission than that? So again, to all of you that comprise this organization from the chairman down to everyone else, thank you, Ned, for the role and the work that you do every single day to remind us what human dignity is all about. Thank you, Ned. So, I have, I have the distinct privilege of presenting Ned's prestigious Democracy Service Medal to an individual who has and continues to bravely press for freedom, freedom in Nicaragua. That individual is Bishop Silvio Baez. Now you see, he knows because he has suffered severely with death threats and injury and unfortunately leading to exile of the result of his quest for human dignity and freedom. The dictator of uh, Nicaragua, Mr. Ortega, has impugned, impugned religion, calling the Catholic Church, quote, a perfect dictatorship. This is coming from Ortega, right? Yeah. Labeling the clergy as killers and coup plotters and, and even accusing the clergy, the clergy of calling for bloodshed, for bloodshed. Well, Bishop Baez himself, he was named Bishop to Managua in 2009. And as I mentioned, he was forced into exile in 2019 due to constant harassment and yes, as I said, even death threats. But he has shown, he has shown how religious and religion Religious faith can challenge the soul-crushing bleakness of tyranny. And as the bishop himself once said, and let me quote, just as Jesus Christ, crucified by the powers of the world, was resurrected, resurrected by God to a life that does not end, the crucified peoples, sooner or later, also, also rise again. Well, you know something, because of his efforts and others like him, Nicaragua will rise again and Nicaragua will be free. So, and it will be free due to the relentless courage, faith, and the work of individuals such as Bishop Baez. So for his courageous work to restore religious freedom in Nicaragua, for his unwavering faith in God's power to inspire the people in restoring liberty and life and respect for the sanctity of human life. For his ministering to the Nicaraguan people in Nicaragua and in exile to strengthen their faith, their resolve, and yes, even their sense of community. I am honored to present the National Endowment of Democracy's Democracy Service Medal to Bishop Silvio Baez.